Hey, so I'm coming at you with a speed drawing video today. <laughs> so I'm working on a VTuber model for Spookiest King of Skeletons. So while this is not the completed model today, we have decided that for now, so we can start streaming, we'll just have a sort of still image there. So that's all we'll be working on today. This is the initial concept for the armor that he'll be wearing. So it's just figuring that out. And then this is the concept for the skull. So I started off with quite a few different drawings of skulls and different styles, and this is the one that we decided on. So more inky, line shading and things like that. So I really like this style. I thought this one was one of the better sketches, uh, or the better look for what he's after anyway. So I'm glad he picked this one. So this is just the initial digital work for it, and then I'll revise it again for the bust. I really enjoyed doing all the line work and things for this piece. I'm thinking about actually get, getting some new brushes and maybe having like some more inky texture for when I'm doing digital work because I really like when it's a little bit grungy. <laughs> so this is really smooth. But I'll add some textures and things to the final one anyway just to try and get that effect without having special brushes to do it. So this one is fully coloured, whereas the armor one was just sort of a, more of an initial sketch. So here we go. Um, one of the things about this character is that he has the glowing red eyes, which I'll be adding in a moment. And that was something that I played with a little bit for the final bust. So this is the, the bust to sit in the corner of the stream. So now I ended up using the symmetry tool to make it look more even. So I do that mainly just for the outside and then I'll go on with the nose and other details of the skull without it on because I did want some differences between each side so I've shaded each side differently just to give it a bit more dynamic lighting and just to make it a bit more interesting I thought it would look a bit boring if it was completely symmetrical the whole way through the skull. So again just doing these lines is just really fun it's tedious but it's it's cool I like it. <laughs> There's added some shading. I think it gives it a really cool look. A bit more interesting I think. So we've got this, I'm just working on some little details there, and then we've got the armour. So the sort of idea with the armour, I've got all these little lines, I want to reintroduce the red that I've used for the eyes back into the armour to help tie the piece together. So that's what those little bits are for, I'm doing some of that line work shading on there as well to help keep the drawing consistent. Uh, the colour theme slash scheme <laughs> for this array is sort of more dark and I guess gloomy. So I've done the sort of black, dark grey armour and then yeah with that red I'll tie it back into the eyes. It makes them sort of look a bit, I don't know, evil. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just doing some cell shading to start off with on both the armour and the skull and then I'll go in with an airbrush to add some more shading. I've made like a teal colour to add a little bit more depth and into the colour of the armour. I've tried to keep the skull looking sort of like old-ish but not too bad so it's a bit yellowed and things like that. Just adding some highlights. So the red circle on the armour, I was thinking about adding like an emblem or something but this is something we haven't really discussed but I think since he's the king of skeletons it, would, it makes sense to have it little symbol or something to represent that kingdom. So here what I've decided to do, um, instead of just having a still bust uh, for the streams to start off with, I thought it would be really fun to make a little animated gif of just the eyes glowing. So this is what I'm doing here. I think I thought it would just be a bit more interesting to have a little bit of movement in the image to help draw the eye there a little bit as well. And there it is, that's the finished gif. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.